Yo, what's up everyone, Akari and you coming to you with a new video. Today, I want to go over Kami's hooligan setups. A bunch of people have asked me what hooligan can actually be used for, and in today's video, I hope I can actually give you like a detailed answer on everything I have found personally, what it either can be useful in, which scenarios you can use, and which scenarios you can. So here are my three things that I found the most useful for hooligan to be used, and afterwards, I'll also tell you what not to do, and I'll show you all the setups that I personally use and why each and the one. So what can hooligan actually be used for? Number one, you can get more damage off of regular pressure, and it also leads to your highest damaging combos pretty easily so i'll show you an example so right here if we were to do a regular target combo like this we would get like 2000 damage right and then afterwards what we would get is we would get basically just like immediate strike throw setup as like the best we can usually get here which uh they're going to block it most of the time so let's just have this actually be a thing real quick and he will try to press a button like crouching light punch right so let's just set up right here So right here with all this, we got around about like 3,700 damage, right? So now I'm going to show you what you can get off of Hooligan. So if you do the same setup, but with an EX, so we would do this right here. We can actually full charge Hooligan and then we can get whatever we wanted of like the EX version. So basically like full charge with Kami is basically just getting the EX version of anything. So let's say we do that. This one's already going to be like 60 damage more. It's not much, but that's not the point. And then you get like a full setup here essentially, which you can do whatever you want with. I think the biggest thing for me right here that makes this so good is that it always leads into your highest damage in combo afterwards. So if you do manage to hit this, right, because you're obviously forcing your opponent to guess here. Since a media setup is just an all block, you can block, you can do whatever, you can backdash, that like you can try to throw afterwards and you're fine. Like in this scenario, you actually have to hold it. So let's say we manage to get like a full extended string here, right? And we manage to hit this in full. This will always lead into this as a combo if you want to full spend it. And obviously, if we did level 3 right there, we'll do 5,600 damage, as you can see at the top here, because I've already tested it. And with this setup, obviously, since you're doing like 2,060 damage plus 5,600, you can do the math. You literally kill opponents off of this after like one more interaction. That's why I think like Hooligan can be really good, because you can force these situations upon your opponent. And even if you don't hit the highest damaging one, which is the overhead, let's say we go for, for example, just the command grab, right? Let's say we go for the command grab right here. You can also just combo into level 3 right away which you wouldn't be able to otherwise and that also does like i think 4600 damage roughly 4200 if you get the low version right here it's going to be 4k flat so you can essentially just force like kill scenarios upon your opponent with hooligan that you wouldn't be able to otherwise so that's why i already think it is really strong by itself so that's number one so it's more damage than regular pressure and it leads to your highest damage in combos very very easily now let's go over number two which is you can force your opponent to do stupid options because they do want to escape hooligan obviously right so if we take the same example i'm literally gonna take it from like anything right here right let's take literally like the same thing again and i were to full charge it and then try to do this this is actually safe against dps let's say for example after wake up jamie would try to dp right so let's have him do arrow kick od and i have a feeling he's gonna go for it i can still get the full damage combo here off of that alone right so like again we're able to force something out of our opponent and they're gonna take a fuck ton of damage for it this one's 5700 if we do it optimally with like one more bar it's 6100 it essentially it's just a massive boost in damage we can also do it like anywhere here like let's do like another setup if i would do like this for example which is a reset setup it's a little reset right here and i was aware of it landing was too slow right there but yeah you can see what, what's happening right like we can basically just like force them do something stupid essentially if we make the right guess which otherwise we wouldn't like for example if i was just to do dive kick here and i would just do a meaty like the likelihood of them dp'ing is a lot less than on hooligan so you're actually just increasing the chance of them trying to do something stupid mashing out doesn't work either i know like i have this one guy in my youtube comment section the jab hooligan guy who's like oh jab beats hooligan jab beats hooligan all right i'll show you right now all right light punch i'm gonna do the same setup again right here he's mashing jab my friend 
Where's the where's the Jappy's hooligan guy now? I'm glad I could debunk that finally, and I hope that motherfucker finally shuts the fuck up. So again, number two, force is optional to your opponents as you want to escape the situation. Usually immediate steps, this will never be the case, or it will be way less of a case. The amount of times I've seen even like top players just try to DP out like a million times, it was so much higher. Like like in like regular pressure, if I play like a set against them, they would try to DP out my regular pressure like once every like 20 interactions. Hooligan once every second. So like it really, really increases it like, pretty drastically. And I also also think that hooligan can be a generally good mix-up tool if people aren't ready for it so even in fake pressure this can be used very easily so let's let's do for example a setup like this and then i'm just gonna go for hooligan throw afterwards like this it can be used really well for like those type of scenarios so you can just get like a throw right here or like whatever obviously this right here is fake pressure so it can be beaten with jab and dp so be aware of that right but let's just let me show you some actual real mix up right here if i were to do the back medium punch combo right here with heavy wool again and then heavy dive kick i could always choose to be on the left side where if i would do it with light i could choose to be on this side so I can actually make a meaty setup right here over left right. As you can see, that's already something that can be mixed into. So this is like some general stuff that you can just be aware of. You can even go giga crazy and just go for like an EX afterwards to so even do this type of stuff. You know, like you can you can like mix even harder if you want, but that's just some of the things I want to show you right now. I'm gonna get into all the setups in just a little bit. But yeah, let's talk about what you should not use hooligan for, and what I've seen people make the biggest mistakes as Kami. Do not use hooligan in neutral. Like I've seen some people try to literally play footsies and then they just hooligan. Not good, not good overall. But in very rare cases, can it be used as a whiff punish? For example, against Marissa, you could use this as a whiff punish right here to whiff punish some of her moves and then get a command grab. But generally speaking, you don't really want to use this. Sometimes this is like as a bait for DP. So use it right here against like Guile, for example. So you go over Sonic Booms and then you would use the, the light version of Hooligan to go over it. Very, very rarely is that a thing. Otherwise, like you don't really want to use it, honestly. The other thing is obviously already showed you beforehand is don't use it blindly in fake pressure. So don't use it here because you can't get jabbed, you can't get DP very easily. Don't just blindly like overuse this right here. Use it sparingly when the real shit that I'm about to show you has actually been established. Okay, let's actually go over all the Hooligan setups that I know of personally, what they're good for and what they can be used for i'll go over like everything one by one so let's start with the target combo target combo back medium punch back heavy kick is actually the best version of setting up hooligan and i'll show you what exactly you can get with every single setup the first one is going to be a corner side switch combo so even if you don't want to use hooligan by itself like as like a setup like this where they fully charge and you take a risk this right here is completely risk free so if you were to get general like situation right here we would get a light punch you can combo it into the target combo and then what you can do is you can hit hooligan right here into a h dive kick or whatever dive kick you prefer and then you have your opponent cornered this is an incredibly good side switch combo by itself and it is like very very useful we can also have him recover backwards you can see we literally just go right into the corner with this and you will hit a media setup right there. So very, very strong, very powerful. That is like one of the things I'm gonna start using right now. The other one is going to be the loop combo. So what you can do is you can do back medium punch, back heavy kick, and then you can do an H hooligan and you can do it again. So you can rinse and repeat it. I get a full setup right here, yada yada yada. By the way, all the setups I'm showing you right now can win against DP, jab, all of this stuff. So like these are actually real hooligan setups, just to like be aware. If there isn't a real hooligan setup, I will tell you that they can mash out, do whatever there. The uh, thing I already showed you right here is the fully charged versions of like each of the ones that you can use right here. So fully charged hooligan dive combo. I don't, I'm not really gonna show this one again, but I just want you to remind you that this one is really powerful. This is basically the best one you can get for a bang of your buck because you can always full charge right here without meter cost right so you don't have to spend four bars right here for example like this in order to get it you don't make sure to use this one if you want to get like a, a finish scenario so like you want to kill someone right here go for it use that one i think that one's like really useful by itself another one which i don't really use too much but i know it can be useful every now and again is a low into level free mix so what you can do is again back medium punch back heavy kick and then you full charge right here and then as you can see, you can link it to the low by itself, and then link it to the low free right after, which is like 4k damage. It's basically just a way to just kill the opponent if there's like anything missing. And you can just 
you know, go down here and you're plus six. So you always have the option of being plus and then getting a melee set up. That's basically it for all the back medium punch stuff. Now we're going to talk into the next one, which is going to be standing heavy punch into HK. So this also is a target combo, which can also lead into hooligan. And there's two different versions. There's one for mid screen and there's one for the corner I'm going to show you right now. So mid screen, what you would like to do is the HP target combo into EX dive. EX dive kick is very important because if you do regular dive kick, as you can see, they're just going to land flat on the ground. Nothing's going to happen. You won't get a mix. What we need right here is we need this into H Spiral Arrow and then immediately Hooligan, which will land it as a MIDI setup. This is really important. The reason why this is only good mid-screen is because in the corner, it won't work like half the time. Like it's very, very inconsistent. The version that works here that's better is light. Because if you do light, you actually hit the full setup right here, like without problems. You do light, boom, boom, eight frames right away. And you can do whatever you want. So that's like that's like the one you want to get. If you do get a target combo right here, this is like your saving grace. Essentially, get out of it. You can just use hooligan afterwards, and you're good to go. Then what you can do is you can also get hooligan off of drive rush combos, which is actually like the most realistic to get out of all of them because you know hitting the target combo ain't always easy. Usually you get this off of like a dive kick. That's like the best way to actually like get get the target combo by itself. But that won't always happen, and you are gonna be in perfect range or anything. So it's like it is possible to get them off of them, but it's not the easiest and most realistic so let's just talk about like an actual realistic setup that you can use this setup by itself is extreme corner carry as well so even if you don't want a hooligan you can safe jump with this and you can get a really good media setup with this here's what you want to do you want to hit either a crouching medium punch or a crouching medium kick it's the mediums that you want right here and then this is a setup that we do we do a crouching medium kick like this do all of this and then you can see we're plus nine we're actually like a frame ahead right here if you do want to make this completely consistent all the time you gotta do the h version so right here we do h spiral arrow boom you can hit right away if you do want to get like the extra midi frames and manually time it you can get up to plus 11 with this setup but as you can see like this is really good as just a general corner carry setup anyway because you can literally jump here and then you're going to be safe to i'm going to show you right now just so y'all can see that i'm not talking just a bunch of bullshit see do whatever here you really want. So if you don't want to risk cool again, you can also just do a safe jump setup here again. It's completely fine. As you can see, this is best used in a corner carry situation. I would use like when you're like round about here on the screen because it's always go directly to the corner. If you're doing this mid screen, just be aware that you always want to do the H version. The reason why is because they actually land right next to you, so you can land it. If you were to do any of the other versions right here, like medium, you would have to extend yourself a little bit further in order to get it, which means they can DP during that time frame. Like they can't DP because you can still land down, but you're going to be like very far away. So you can't actually like fully punish. So you always use H right there if you want to use it. Me personally, I think this is like mostly like a corner carry combo that's really useful because you can just checkmate people off of this. Like you really can. You can literally just kill people off this alone if you do it right. Just do this, then you do all that. And you, you, you already tell, you already see where this is going, right? Like it lands to like a fuck ton of damage. That's what you want to do it. That's what usually hooligan is good for, which I already explained earlier. So to get like more damage and you just kill the opponent off of it. Now we're going to get into something a bit more interesting, which is using hooligan as a midi reset and a side swap reset. So what you can do right here is, I'm just going to take like a very like bizarre example. It doesn't matter, right? Like there's, there's going to be combos, but this is just going to be like useful. So let's say you get like a full damage combo right here with Kami and you end it with an EX spiral arrow and you're on the other side of the screen. So this sucks, right? You don't, you don't ever want to be here usually uh, what you can do technically is you can do exdp right here to get out but this is four bars so we don't we don't want that what we do want instead is using this so if you hooligan afterwards you get a quick little reset right here and that quick little reset is plus seven so you have seven frames of advantage and if you hit this they cannot get out because 10 frames seven frames right there's no frame free option in the game that will get you out right here except the dp but dp will get you out anyway so it's fine you can basically set this up however you want by itself and like this is like very useful if they tech in place obviously then they're just going to be right next to you and I, I do know that there is a timing that you can cover the back roll as well as they're right next to you but i'm, I'm just going to show you this right now as a general demonstration the other thing that it can be useful for, which is really effective is to e mix them even harder so let's say like for example you're even mid-screen right here because mid-screen it doesn't matter right if you hit this mid-screen you're actually always going to be there even if they back roll like it doesn't matter you're always going to be the right in front of them and you're going to be plus seven which is great let's take that setup again now here's what you can do that's really nasty you can just mix them again and don't tell me like oh they can just jab if they try to dp out so this is like a dp bit if they try to dp out you win you genuinely win and this can also be used in general as a general mix-up so if you would do it right here do it like this 
you can also use in general. So this is not only like exclusive to Hooligan, but I'm just showing you like in the Hooligan this can be very useful and can be used as, a, as like a double mix up. So very, very good. Now let's go over the fake Hooligan setups because now that we've established that the Hooligan setups are real and what you can actually do with them, right? Now I wanna go over what you can do afterwards and what you can start getting away with. Because once the real shit that I just showed you is established, which is definitely real, you can definitely land this and people will be start, starting to be afraid of it every now and again, right? You can start using fake shit. So you can start using the fake stuff that I mentioned earlier, like jab, 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 medium, and then you can go for like a command grab or like anything like that. And the fake shit actually can be useful in some scenarios where like technically they're fake, but if you do have the right read, they can be very useful. So let's say for example right here, I am fighting against Jamie. And let's say our Jamie right here is a very like parry heavy opponent. So like always like on wake up, he likes to parry because he's trying to like get rid of the media setups, all of that, right? And in a perfect world, let's literally have him do this. After wake up, as you can see, if I were to do the media setup, boom, perfect parry, right? And I'll be the one to get punished. Very bad, don't really want this scenario ever. Now here comes the funny part. If you would do the regular shit, so if you would know they would do it on regular, the best option here is just to throw. That's just it. Like that's the best option. You get 2040 damage and another media setup. But because we're Cami, we got a command grab. So here's what we can do. Right? We can just get more damage off of it than we regularly would. And we can actually just kill people off of this alone. From like any meter actually. Like we can do it, we can do like any any like level system right here that we can. This in level three. And as you can see, this is a 4,200 damage, which is going to be way more than the throw ever would be able to do. I don't know why I'm recording something now on max, so it's fine. Yeah, 4,350, as you can see, way more damage than any throw could ever give you. It's literally a checkmate scenario, right? So if you have somebody and you know they're going to go for this type of stuff, or even a backdash, this is really good. They can be used in, like, pressure. It is fake. It is a fake setup. But if you're aware of it and you can read it, phenomenal. Really, really good usage by itself. So Hooligan actually has used in fake setups too, where it's like, right here, it can be used to neutral if they're not aware of it, because they're going to hesitate because they're like, oh, shit, Hooligan, like, it's the real stuff, right? Is it fake? I mean, that time, they won't be able to process it too properly if you're aware of them you can punish them like each and individually i will show you one version for each level right now for all of the hooligan setups right here that you can do so for like the command grab i mean right so let me show you like the level one version level two and level three so level one's first Is this where you do a drive rush standing heavy punch then you do a, a light spiral arrow and then you level one this one does almost 3200 damage really really good as i said again more damage than before then i'm going to show you level two level two you just do it like this ex this is a little bit more damage just in case you like you can finish off the opponent with that and then obviously the, the most optimal one right here is literally level three that's it Literally, this one, I, I tried to lab out more options. Level 3, like, just do it by itself. It's just the most optimal, man. It really is. At least that's what I found for now. If you find a better setup, you can let me know on that. These are basically all the applications with Hooligan that I can show you. Why I use them and what they are useful for. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. And all the other guide videos for Kami are also on the way right now. By the time you're watching this video, they're probably already out. So they're gonna be either right here, anywhere in the info box, description, playlist. You will find them. You will see them, for sure. All right, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered the time your questions regarding Swoolie again, and I'll be the good one. Talk to you later. Bye.